Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Libra, we just did y'all yesterday, child. Let's see, let's see if we can get somebody else. Thank you so much for supporting my right botanicals. Here we plant seeds that help improve your mind, body, and spirit, give you mental clarity, and encourage you to move forward in a positive way, okay? So let's see which king or queen Zodiac or element, queen of pentacles. Let's see what the messages are for my queen of pentacles. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Let's see. Let's see what's up with y'all. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my queen of pentacles at this time, please? And, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Dang, I thought I had heard something downstairs. Yeah, that was outside. I don't know. Maybe y'all are about to get a knock on your door, or receive some sort of correspondence. That was the mailman. Let's see. What else for my Virgos, my Tauruses, my Capricorns, Holy Spirit? What would you like for them to know at this time? Please and thank you. I just saw prosperity. So you might be getting a check in the mail for your birthday, Virgo. Maybe one of y'all Virgos. I don't know. Got something coming in the mail. Let's see, what else, Holy Spirit? What else for my Capricorns, my Tauruses, and my Virgos, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for them to know at this time? Please and thank you from you through me, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? Let's see. Let's see, what do you want my Queen of Pentacles to know, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What are the messages for them at this time? Let's go. Messages, Holy Spirit. Monitoring and hovering spirits. Okay, this can be taken a couple of ways for sure, Queen of Pentacles. Someone may have sent monitoring and hovering spirits to watch you. Okay. Okay. So if you've been noting, noticing a lot of creepy crawlies, a lot of birds just happening to be around because I'm learning that if it ain't a blue bird or a red bird or a pretty robin, that I can differentiate between them other raggedy looking brown birds, I'm good. Because a lot of them birds be monitoring hovering spirits because somebody is obsessed with you, Queen of Pentacles, Okay. So somebody is definitely sending monitoring and hovering spirits to watch you, to stalk you, to spiritually spy on you. And this person, they, they clever. I'm trying to tell you, take flight is right behind that. So they may even be projecting through monitoring and hovering spirits. This person could be taking on shape-shifting energy. That's what I'm getting here, Queen of Pentacles. This motherfucker be shape-shifting to take flight and watch and see what you got going on, child. This card say the other man. It's not as good as yours is. Divine masculine. Okay. Hmm. Ladies, 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 you might got you a stalker. This other man, somebody you might have messed with, possibly thought they were your DM. But this ain't your DM. This, this is, this person is obsessed with you. They obsessed with your sex. This person be spiritually spying on you. This person shapeshifts. Whoever this person is that you thought was your divine masculine, they really a snake. This person fuck around with that, that shit now. Clarify Holy Spirit. Blog. Them flew out here. Okay? Trying to tell you. This motherfucker fought flawed as all hell. But they definitely got some spiritual abilities. Because they've been shape-shifting to come and spy on your ass, Queen of Pentacles. Anything else from, from the um, 
I be knowing Oracle Deck, Holy Spirit. Well, child. Power. I'm telling you, this motherfucker got some spiritual abilities now. They can be flawed, but they ass is a powerful, flawed motherfucker. Whoever y'all been out here messing with, child, they could be a Leo. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit, child? <laughs> Your parents are karmics. This thing came out here. Why this thing came out here, Holy Spirit? Don't tell me this other man didn't contact your parents in an attempt to try to get information on you. But you was protected from that. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. He did that. This man used some sort of power and influence that he has. And he contacted your parents. Your parents may have tried to give this man what he wanted to know. But you were protected from that attempt. To get in your business as well. Because I don't think your parents know. I don't think your parents know what's up with your life. Concubine. Whoever this was. You viewed them at one point. You viewed them as some sort of divine masculine. But this person treated you. Like you was a concubine. They didn't treat you like you was their divine feminine. Your spirituality is organic. Okay? I think this may be why this snake energy is obsessed with you. This, this powerful person. Because your spirituality is organic. Despite people's attempt to, attempts to make you look flawed in some type of way. I'm picking up your parents tried to make you look flawed to this person. But your spirituality, your divinity has shined through something here. That may have that may have him even more obsessed with you, child. Let's see, y'all, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what comes out. With the tarot, Holy Spirit, child. What would y'all like? Ooh, the devil is on the bottom of this deck, Capricorn. Did I tell you this per? This person obsessed with you, honey. Obsessed. Could be a Libra with this judgment energy. They made a decision that they want you. Whoever they tried to go and be with, it's not as good as you. And I'm really thinking that it's, it's your magic. It ain't just something sexual here. It's, it's the spirituality that you embody, this level of spirituality that you embody. So, Holy Spirit, what else would you like for my Queen of Pentacles to know at this time? My Virgos, my Capricorns, my Tauruses, Holy Spirit, what else would you like for them to know, please? And thank you. Energy, energy here. What is the energy? What, what do we need to know about this powerful yet flawed energy and what they've done to try to gain insight and spy on this queen of pentacles life holy spirit what do we need to know about this here please and thank you let's go y'all let's see four of pentacles death Whew. you tried to restrict yourself from this person because this person was restricting themselves from you but this person has awakened to who you are. And now they can't stop thinking about your ass. This person has invested a lot of effort into trying to figure out what the hell you got going on. Who you might have something going on with. But they keep coming up short. They ain't getting that return on the investment that they've made. And these people have. This person did make some sort of offer to your parents. It was a slick offer to try to get in your business and see what you got going on. And your parents played along as much as they could, but they don't know what you got going on. Okay? They sent some sort of message for cups. They couldn't tell him nothing. You were protected from that attempt to be in your business. This is a, this is a Scorpio. This is somebody you have dealt with before. 
and they did not deem themselves to be your divine masculine. So they betrayed you. 10-10 hitting the clock. They definitely caused an ending between the two of y'all because of how they treated you, how they restricted themselves from you. And you thought this person was your divine masculine. But this King of Cups, death energy is not your divine masculine. He is snake and he flawed. He might be powerful. He might can shape shift. He might can do all that shit. But he not your divine masculine. He's very clever though. I, I'm really picking up how you could have thought he was some sort of divine counterpart because of the high level of spiritual power that he possessed. I, I definitely see how you could get it twisted. But you figured it out. You figured out that this wasn't your person. And you turned your back to him. Now his ass is, is searching for you everywhere he damn go. Every time he turn around, he hoping he see your face. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth, 1111. Because see, now he think that you are his divine feminine. He's trying to consider his options with you now. So why has this King of Cups had a change of heart? I'm telling you, he ready to risk it all. And he has been risking it all to figure out what you got going on. But once again, he been coming up short with this attempt to spiritually spy on you. This man been spiritually spying on you. This man been spiritually spying on you. And this man shapeshifts to do it. He, he take flight. He turn into some type of bird. This a, this a shapeshifter here now. And he been watching your ass. You better know that. Chariot right behind this page of swords. Judgment right behind that. Trying to decide... What you got going on, if you messing with somebody, if there is another man even. Because for some reason, this man felt like you was a concubine when he was dealing with you. Clarify, Holy Spirit. He don't feel that way now, but he's like scared. Devil that came out here, I'm telling you. Not saying that all Capricorns is some toy, like it's, it's giving sex addict though. The Capricorn can talk about addictions. I'm telling you, he think you some he thought you was. Maybe he still do. Think you some sort of sex addict. Six of Pentacles on the bottom that you give to and receive with a lot of people. That you have done this. Six of Wands behind that. Okay, so he I think he's still trying to figure out if you messing with anybody. But you ain't messing with nobody. He trying to figure that shit out. If you giving up that thing, but you ain't queen of swords. You not. You are not. I really feel like this man wants to make you look. Queen of cups is right behind that. Oh, you could be. And it's good now. He right. It, whoever he been fucking with. It's not as good as yours. He got that shit right. I'm picking up on it. Okay? But you ain't committed to nobody. That's why you ain't came out here as this queen of pentacles yet. We got Virgo energy. We got Capricorn energy out here. I feel like with this four of pentacles, it's giving Taurus or Capricorn energy as well. I was just thinking, because I'm just, it's it's kind of interesting how this man was sure as hell, he was sure as shit stank that you was some sort of hoe that he needed to restrict himself from, but he's had some sort of change of heart, and I'm still trying to pick up what made him change his mind, because something made him change his mind here, Will of Fortune on the bottom, 1444. Your divinity, your spirituality shine through Queen of Pentacles. Your shit organic. It ain't flawed. It ain't made up. It ain't no sloppy 
reproduction of what spirituality should look like. It's truly and authentically what your spirituality looks like. And that's what's important. You know, we get into trying to practice certain things and do and say and appear a certain way to give off the spiritual vibe, but it's not what you do necessarily that makes you spiritual. It's your mindset. It's your heart. It's your spirit. It's your soul. That change truly starts within. Okay. And I preached this before on my other platform, but this man, he, he became aware of your spirituality, your divinity, something was revealed about you that you were not no concubine, that he passed judgment on you incorrectly in the past. Maybe your parents told, I'm telling you, it's something like he went to try to get some insight on you and your parents tried to say you was, um, like you might've had a sex addiction or you were promiscuous or something like that. But I'm telling you, the scales have been bouncing in your favor. Now, who the scales been bouncing your favor with is of a concern. Cause he, he look, <laughs> cause he know who you are now. But I don't know if I'm picking up this, here go your Taurus energy. I don't know if I'm picking up Queen of Pentacles that this is your divine masculine like you thought he was. He think you his divine feminine now though, to a source, but you don't feel that way anymore. You made a different decision because he made a choice about you and who you are. Okay, so he ready to risk it all for you, but you, you've closed that door. You possibly received some sort of wise counsel about this masculine and his behavior. And you freed yourself from this partnership or well, the possibility of it. Because at one point, you were really hoping that this man would commit to you, that you and him could have a divine partnership. You truly thought he was your divine masculine. Is this King of Cups, this Queen of Pentacles, divine counterpart, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. We have Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups is on the bottom. So this man just got to get in alignment, child. Maybe he's trying to do that now. Maybe he's trying to do that now because he's upset. Look, what? Okay, so you got a warlock energy, shapeshifter energy who's trying to get right with God, child. So they can be with their divine feminine. That's what I'm getting. Temperance falling right up under judgment. We, When I ask, is this man going to... Is this your divine masculine? The Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands with the Ten of Cups came out. 1818. Then I said, maybe he is trying to get an alignment for you. And we had temperance, divine intervention. This man know he ain't been doing right and he trying to do better. Ace of Wands. Okay? So that's that's what's out here, child. Shit, I don't know. Queen of Pentacles, child. I don't know. Three of Swords. But I feel like he's heartbroken that he didn't jump into this partnership with you before now. Now that he has true enlightenment about who you are, because it's almost like he's saying to himself, Well, she's divine, then maybe she was right about me. Maybe I'm a divine masculine too. Maybe I'm her divine masculine. Actually, I think I am with this twin flame lover's card. When before he was, he thought it was some sort of illusion, child. He didn't believe it. He could also have cancer somewhere prominently in his chart. Pisces or cancer, okay? But he knows the truth now with this king of swords and he wants to have this opportunity with you, okay? With this ace of pentacles. And I'm gonna drop the mic there, y'all, because I'm... I don't know if I really want to keep prying into this man right here. I'm going to let him keep doing his thing, but just know he is watching you now. He ain't, he ain't left that, let that go by the wayside yet, honey. He's still, he's still doing that spiritual spine now, but he, he getting there, queen of pentacles. He trying to do the right thing. So, you know, just see how it goes.
but if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.